Assalamualaikum, Mr. T. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Are you feeling fine today? Uh, what feeling? What means? Are I'm you sorry. feeling fine? Uh, okay, I'm fine. Thank You're you. Fine. Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure, but uh, it's been a uh, cloudy. Well, not really cloudy. The the weather keeps changing all the time in Surabaya. How is it in Gresik? In Gresik is sunny. 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 Sorry. Sunny, sunny. and I suppose. <laughs> sunny and hot. Okay. Yeah, sunny and hot. Uh, oh, it's morning. It's cloudy. Oh, this. Oh, it's cloudy oh. too. This morning. Morning, morning, but in afternoon is sunny day. It's sunny. Hi, Miss Lisa. Welcome to the class. Miss Lisa, can you hear me? Hello, Miss. Can is you my hear voice... me? Yeah, I can now. Is my voice clear at your end? Yes, it's clear in me. Is it lagging? Or breaking? No, it's not lagging. Okay, it's good then. So, how are you, Miss Lisa? I'm fine, Miss Tati. Okay, it's nice to know that we are all fine. I mean, the weather is so unpredictable lately, at least. Sometimes it's cool, but most of the time it's very hot, like today. So, um, I hope we don't get the the usual cough, fever, and so on. So, Miss Lisa, tell me about what you do with your students. Uh, you are fully on site now. Mm -hmm. So, how... Oh. Mm -hmm. Which okay. term... Which semester of students do you teach? I teach... Uh, the... <laughs> okay. So. I teach the course for first, second, and then sixth semester. Mm -hmm. So... The last semester is the kenap kenap itu even semester second even semester. semester. So I teach uh, student in second semester the first year student. Got it. So between the freshman in the first semester and then the senior in the sixth semester, which one that you prefer the most? The course or the student? Students, of course. <laughs> if uh, if the student, <laughs> if I choose the student, uh, every 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 year we have different characteristic of the student, and uh, this time, I think the most interactive student uh in second semester. Hmm. I see. Isn't it always like that? Student in the second semester? Because no, second no. semester students are not newbies anymore. Yet, they are still long from their graduation. So, they still have like time to have fun. I don't think so. Because uh, the new student uh, who are in uh, second semester, I think they in academic in academic uh, skill they are better than the the student before I see. how so, do i say katan so really <laughs> katan hi miss puput miss idaya yeah, because the academic skill is better than before it's easier to teach hi miss Welcome to the class. 
Miss Isa, oh Miss Isa is back in the campus. Uh, Mr. Wahyu, welcome to the class. Miss Isa, I forgot to ask, how old is your son again? Less than a year old. <laughs> Miss Isa, so sorry, I cannot hear your voice clearly. Uh, hello, uh, my voice. Yes, now it's clearer. Yes. Uh, my son, uh, this month is uh, this month is one year. One year, this month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. congratulations this month. then. <laughs> congratulations, okay. he's a year old. Okay. So, you go. today we are going to talk about our grammar. <laughs> oh, the grammar session is always the, the most intriguing one. <laughs> because usually we have, uh, we didn't realize that we made mistakes in grammar before the book actually points that out to us. Oh, yeah. So, over the years, I actually made this mistake. And it shouldn't be like that. Okay, so uh, hang on a second. We will wait for Mr. Priya to join us in this class. Hello, Mr. Priya. Welcome to the class. Well, hello, me. Is my voice clear at your end? I hope so. Okay. So today our grammar is about embedded questions. Embedded questions are the questions that you use, but you want to make it more polite by adding another question or putting it into a set, putting them into sentences. So for example, usually we just say, what's your name, right? But when we talk to someone older or a senior, a boss, uh, somebody with a higher status, we don't just say, what's your name? We usually add something like, excuse me, uh, would you tell me something like that? Would you tell me? And then da -da 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 -da. now the deal is most people mistake this grammar part by putting the question exactly as it is. So. We usually say, excuse me, would you tell me what is your name? And it's incorrect, okay? The correct version should be, would you tell me what your name is? Okay, so we had to make, we have to make the question into one question or a statement. It means that there can't be two questions in the sentence. Okay. If you take a look at the, the examples here, okay, I would like to highlight these and ask Miss, oh, Mr. Agung is joining us. Hello, Mr. Agung, welcome to the class. Miss Pupu. Hello, Mr. T. Sorry, I'm being late. Hmm. We are discussing the grammar today, so. Ms. Puput, could you please read the, the sentences that I highlighted? How can I get you to your office? I would like to know how I can get to your office. Okay. So the first part is the direct question. And the second part is the question being an, an embedded form in a sentence. So we change the question word from how can I, we have to switch it into a sentence, how I can get to your office. So instead of can I, we use I can. Okay. The next part, uh, Miss Hidaya, could you please read the, sec uh, the second example? Okay, Miss. When did she arrive at the workshop? I don't know when she arrived at the workshop. Got it. Thank you, Miss Hidaya. In this part, because the question is in past tense, 
we cannot use this anymore in the embedded question. We need to make it into a sentence. It means that the sentence needs to be in the past tense directly. That's why the question is, uh, that's why the statement is, I don't know when she arrived. Instead of, I don't know when did she arrive. Or, I don't know when she did arrive at the workshop. It doesn't work that way. We have to change it immediately into she arrived at the workshop. Okay. Introductory phrases here. There are only three, but there are more than just I wonder, I need to find out, I don't know. You can also say, I think, I believe, in my opinion, something, and then you embed the question. Okay. Please remember when you use embedded questions with within a statement, you don't need to use a question mark. So the intonation doesn't go up anymore. Okay, so for example, are you okay? Now let's try and change are you okay into an embedded question with within a statement. Can somebody please give the example? Are you okay with an introductory phrase? Hmm. One more thing. If it's a yes, no question, we use if or whether. Hey, okay. Whether, there you go. Can somebody help me to make the sentence? Anyone? Are you okay? It's a simple question, but we want to make it more polite or more how do you say that? Uh, kinder. It's not more kind. It's we want to make it kinder to the person, so we don't just say, "Are you okay?" Anyone? Okay, I will start this, and then I will give another example. So, if you have "Are you okay?" the question. And then the embedded question within a statement can be, I wonder if you are okay. I wonder whether you are okay. I wonder whether you are okay. I wonder if you are okay. Now I've given the example. Let's try with you making the example, okay? The question is, uh, let's start with, is everything fine? Volunteers? Is everything fine? Nobody? Should I choose? Long time. Okay, go on, Mr. Agu. Uh, another question is, I need to find out whether is everything okay? Almost. You missed the verb. I need to find out if everything, the subject, and then you need the verb, everything. I need to find out whether is everything was okay. okay. Mm. Don't change the tense into past tense. It's still in the present tense, but you need to switch the position. The question is, is everything okay? So the question is verb, subject. 
But now, because you embed the question within a statement, it should be subject and verb. Okay, uh, I need to find out whether everything is okay. There you go. Ooh, finally, I, I need to find out whether everything is okay. See, you switch the position, subject and verb. So instead of a question, is everything... I, my question was, is everything fine, Mr. Agung? <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> okay, but Mr. Agung changed the fine into okay, the same one. I need to find out whether everything is fine, okay? Now, Mr. Agum, can I ask you to provide a question, a yes-no question, a simple one for your classmates? Just like, uh, are you okay? Is everything fine? Another simple one. Maybe if you live um, in this morning. Pardon, Mr. Ago? Louder, please. So sorry, I cannot hear your voice. Um, did you come late today? Did you come late today? There you go. Did you come late today? Okay, so how do we change that question into an embedded question? within a statement. Did you come late today? The verb is did and come. Now you need to put those verbs into one plus tense after the subject. Any volunteers? Should I choose that? <laughs> Any mini mini mo catch tiger by the toe. Okay. Miss Ni me, me. I keep saying Nick Mark. Miss Isa. Could you try please? And this word some um, question. Mm -mm. Yes. Did you come or late? Today? Answer. Uh, it's not an answer. You need to change. Did you come late today? To an embedded question within a statement. You can use these phrases. You can start with these phrases, Miss. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't know. God, I don't know. I don't know. And then I don't you know. Know. I don't know if if I don't know if what's the subject of the question? I uh, I you I don't know. Got it. If you are late today. The verb is and I don't know. I don't know if now. I don't know if you 
R if you are type no. But there's no R in the question. Hang on a second. Let me use uh, Google Translate. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Because I cannot write on the screen. Okay. So the question is, did you come late today? Right, Mr. Agu? Okay. Now we need to change this. Mm -mm. We need to change this into an embedded question. You start with, I don't know, Miss Isa. And then you use if. The subject of this question? Miss Isa, what is the subject of this question? Are you. Okay, got I it. I don't know if you are I. No, because I this is not if you. Edit. It means that you need to use the verb to of come. Past form of come. Came. Came. Got it. I don't know. Verb to of come. Came. If you came late. Today. Today. Remember, this is not a question. So today. The intonation um. doesn't go up. I don't know if you came late today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you came late today. Yeah. Okay. There you go, Miss Isa. Today. Thank you. I don't. I don't know if you come out today. Okay. Got it. Mm. Miss Isa, please give me one more question. Yes or no question for your classmate. Okay. So this will be another one more practice from a statement. Mm -hmm. Did Did you? Did you use motor like this? Did you use a motorcycle? Did you did you did you use a motorcycle? Okay. Did you use a motorcycle? Mm, except Mr. Agung and Miss Isa. I need somebody to change this sentence or this question into an embedded question within a statement. So, a volunteer? If there is no volunteer, I will try and choose one person. Anybody? Okay, let's check. Any mini mini mo catch tiger by the toe. Miss, sorry, Miss Yenny. Okay. Yes. You need to start. No, I don't read a bed. Use a by car. Mm, you don't have to answer, but we are changing question into Hello? a question within a statement. Okay. So today, our grammar point is to change embedded questions. Oh, sorry, a direct question into an embedded question. The first one is within a statement. Miss Yeni, you can choose one of these introductory phrases to start with. So. These three, which one would you like to use? 
I wonder, I need to find out, or I don't know. Miss Yeni, you need to choose at least one of these phrases. Miss Yeni, you are muted. Can you hear me? Yes, me. <laughs> yes, Miss Tati. You need to choose one of the. Oh. Hello. 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 Huh? Hello. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me well now? <laughs> okay. So, Miss Yeni is having a problem Hello. with connection. Uh, Hello. Here's, anyone else? Mr. Priya, Mr. Wahyu, Miss Hidayah, Miss Lisa, Miss Puput? Anyone? Maybe I will yes, try. Me. I will try. Miss. Okay. <laughs> when you try at the same time, Miss Lisa, Mr. Priya, and Mr. Wahyu. Okay, I heard uh, Mr. Wahyu first. So sorry, he turned on his audio first. So let's go with Mr. Wahyu. Mr. Wahyu. I wonder whether you use motorcycle. One more time. Oh, wait. you don't have to use or not. <laughs> One more time, Mr. Wahyu. I wonder whether you used... I wonder whether you used a motorcycle. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Wahyu. I wonder whether you used... So the sentence would be like this. Whether you, the subject, and then we change the verb into verb to because this is did, past tense. Okay. Uh, motorcycle. In, may I ask? About something, Miss Tati. Go ahead, then. Mr. Wahid. Yeah, uh, a few seconds ago, <laughs> I said or not. So sometimes I heard that uh, some people say about that. Is that true or not? Well, the deal is this is we are uh, at the moment, we are trying to use an embedded question within a statement. So oh, okay. you don't have to use or not. If it's a statement, I wonder whether you used a motor. Oh. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now let's go to the next part. This time, changing an embedded question within a question. So <laughs> we change a question into another question. I know it's confusing, but it happens a lot in English particularly when you want to talk more politely to other people, okay? So let's try with this example. Uh, Mr. Bagus, could you please read the example? Where are they going? Do you know going? There you go. The first direct question is, where are they going? Now we change it into an embedded question. It's, do you know where they are going? Okay, so we change the position of the verb and subject. Okay, the next example. Uh, Miss Lisa, could you please read it for me? Where does he go from here? Can you tell me where she goes from here? Okay, there you go. Where does she go from here? Can you tell me where she goes from here? So from does she go, the same like 
we used did and go earlier. Now we change it into does and go combined. It becomes goes. Okay, so can you tell me where she goes from here? Now I'm going to ask you to work in pairs. Okay, so please make a direct question. So a question and then please change it into an embedded question within a question. So can you tell me, do you mind telling me, is it okay, so something like that? Okay. We have, oh, I hope. Okay, let me check. I will create. Uh, Miss Lisa, Mr. Wahyu, Miss Yeni, you will be in one room, room one. Uh, Mr. Priya, Miss Iza, you will be in room two. Mr. Agung, Mr. Bagus, you will be in room three. And Miss Hidayah, Miss Puput, you will be in room four. So, what is our goal in this breakout room? Anyone? What do you have to do in the breakout room? Make embedded question. One, but before you make an embedded question, you need to make the direct question first. So something like, did you use a motorcycle? Or are you feeling okay? Or is everything fine? Okay. And then change it into an embedded question. Okay, let's try then. So only five minutes. I hope it will be enough. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, what you, what you have. Oh, okay. Hey, kita hanya membuat pertanyaan pertanyaan saja kan? Oh iya. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, oh sorry. <laughs> I wonder what you have for lunch. You have for lunch, and I, 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 I. Wait, wait. Sorry to interrupt, Miss Buput and Miss Ida. Yeah, you need yes. To, yes. You need to make the direct question first, and then change it into an embedded question. So if you say, "Oh, you, oh. What you have for lunch," the direct question is, "What do you have? For what lunch? do you have?" That's it. What do you have for lunch? And then you change it into, I wonder what you have for lunch. It's easy peasy, right? Yes. <laughs> You're what done. Yes, <laughs> okay. What do you have? Just one, please. Just one lunch. question. One is enough. If you want to make more, sure, no problem. Give me a Maybe I can repeat the... Your factory, where your factory located? Tapi di balik ini. Tapi si kayak si ghost ini kan jadi gusi gitu loh. Ghost si jadi ghost. Ar dia where does si? Eh buat isi kebati pancet. Can you tell me where? Where are you? Where are you, Bakti? Where are your factory? Where are, you? Uh, where are, you? Where are you factory located? Mm -hmm. Mr. Priyo, Miss Iza, I need to remind you that you need to switch the subject mm -hmm. and the verb. So it's not oh. where are you, but where 
Pati your like. Ah uh ah. -uh. Where your blah blah blah. Ah. Uh. Can you tell me where your? Where your factory located? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Where? Cracker is located. So we don't use. I don't know anymore, or I need. I want to relate it. So we need to use the the right the right side in the what's in the PDF. Question embedded. Uh, embedded question within question. Uh, can you help me? YouTube. Can I repeat for uh, from the beginning? The first one is: Do you do you have a lens, right? We should change it to they because we have we we should change change it into another question. Miss, okay. There you go. Welcome back, everyone. I hope uh, you can learn from each other and create questions within question. Oh, a question within a question. I believe group, um, who is it? Group four is ready. Miss Hidayah, Miss Puput. Yes, Miss, we are ready. Let's go then. Yes. So we, we have two examples. I will tell you the first one and Miss Puput will tell yeah. you the rest. So the first one is um the question is what do you have for lunch and the embedded question is i wonder what you have for lunch thank you miss idaya the second example miss uh, second example is how long can you finish your test and the embedded question is can you tell me how long you can finish your test Nice. There you go. Okay. So those are correct examples from Miss Hidayah and Miss Puput. I wonder how long you can instead of I wonder how long can you. I wonder how long you can finish your task. Thank you, Miss Puput, Miss Hidayah. Bravo. Oh, brava, brava, because you are a female. So brava. The next group, let's go to Mr. Agung and Mr. Bagus, group three. Are you ready with your example? Yes, miss. Okay, go ahead then. Mr. Bagus, do you want to go first? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Kid, you can help. I, I want you can help me. Mr. Bagus, one more time. What is the direct question? Can you, help, you can me? help me? Did you can help me? Oh, can you help me? Can you help me? Okay. Uh, and then the embedded question? I'm... Okay. 
I don't know. You can help. You can help me. I I don't know. You can. You can help me. You I'm missed sorry. the word in the middle, Mr. Bagus. Remember, if it's yes, no question, and can you help me is yes, no question. The answer is yes or no, right? So we need to use oh. if or whether in the middle. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know uh, if, whether if, if you can help me. There you go. But Mr. Bogus, that's an embedded question within a statement. <laughs> we are trying to make an embedded question within a question. So you need to use one of these phrase, uh, phrases instead. This one. One, two, three. Would you tell me? Oh. Would you would you tell me uh, if, if can if can help me? There you go. Would you tell me if you can help me? Mr. Bogus, you need to be more confident with your sentence. One more time. The question is. Would you tell me? Would, would you tell me if can you help me? Oh, you need to switch it. Would you tell me if you can? Would you tell me if you can help me? There you go. Would you tell me if you can help me? Thank you, Mr. Bagus. That's okay. an example. Sorry. No, no, no. You just need to be more confident, Mr. Bagus. Miss, thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Agung, your turn. Okay, so the question is, if this cracker is good, and the end of question within question goes, do you have any idea whether this cracker is good? Thank you, Mr. Agung. Check. Do you have any idea whether this cracker is good? So instead of is this cracker good? Do you have any idea whether this cracker is good? Thank you, Mr. Agung. Well done, Mr. Bagus and Mr. Agung. Uh, the next group is Mr. Priyo and Ms. Isa. Okay, Miss. Ms. Isa first. Okay. Where is your home located? Okay. Located. Where is your home located? Yeah. Uh, would you tell me if location your home? Oh, this is the deal, Miss Isa. We don't use if when oh. the question is not yes, no. And your question is, mm -hmm. where is your home located? It's not a yes, right. no question. So we still mm -hmm. use the where. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me where? Where your location is home? Where your home location? Where your look? Uh, where your home location? Wait, wait, wait. Where your? Let's check. What is the question again? Where is your home located? Okay. Where is your home? Located. Okay. This one? Yes. Okay. So we change it into can you tell me? Can you tell me where your where local where your location where your home location? You use located when, not location. So you need to use this also. Oh, yes. Can you tell me okay. where your home? Can you tell me where your home, where your home located? This one. You also need to use this. Can you tell me where your home is located? There you go. Thank you, Miss Isa. Okay. There. Can you tell me where your home is oh. located? Okay. 
Well done, Miss Iza. Okay. Miss Pri uh, Mr. Priyo? Okay. Does she leave? Yes. And then, where does she live? Yes. Where, where, where does oh. she live, Miss? Sorry. Where does she live? Yes. And then the embedded question within a question is, can you tell me where she lives? Exactly. Can you tell me where she, where she lives? lives. Hmm. Yes. Mr. Priyo, make sure that I heard the S at the end. So can you tell me where she lives? Okay. Well done, Mr. Priyo. That is the correct embedded question. Can you tell me where she lives? Okay, got it. Exactly. So thank you, Miss Isa and Mr. Priyo. Well done. The last group, we have Mr. Wahyu, Miss Lisa and Miss Yeni. By the way, so far you have provided more than what I requested. I only requested for one example, but most of you, all of you have provided two examples. So congratulations. I'm not sure about group one. How many examples? Could you give us? You want to go first? Mm -hmm. So we discuss it one sam one example, but uh, I think I want to one example. One example is fine, Miss Lisa. No problem. Okay. So, Mister uh, Miss Yeni, do you want to go first for the first question? Can you tell me if they had had lunch? Can you tell me if they have had? Oops, sorry. Can you tell me if they had lunch? And what's the direct question? Did they have lunch? Did they have lunch? Did they have lunch? Got it. So the direct question is, did they have lunch? And then the embedded question is, can you tell me? If they had lunch, thank you. There you go, Mr. Wahyu, Miss Lisa, and Miss Yeni. Congratulations. So, everyone, I hope by doing the pair work, you understand the format better because you get to practice it. Okay. Now, let's check this activity. The second activity, there are nine numbers. <laughs> oh, no, not nine. So, sorry. There are six numbers. And let's try to change this into a question containing embedded question, statement or question. Okay, so I should just point one person. I'm going to ask, oh, the groups, the groups. I will just use the groups, no problem. Miss Isa and Mr. Priya. You will do number one and two, okay? Mr. Bagus and Mr. Agung, please do number three and four. The last one, Miss Yeni, Mr. Wahyu, and Miss Lisa, please do number five and six. I'll give Miss Puput and Miss Hidaya a break because they did such a great examples for the first uh, turn, in their first turn. So, Miss Hidayah and Miss Pukwut. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so the others. Let's try and change the these into an embedded question. Number one and two, Miss Isa and Mr. Priya. Three and four, Mr. Bagus and Mr. Agung. Five and six, Miss Lisa, Miss Mr. Wahyu, and Miss Yeni. Can I answer the number one? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Uh, Priya. Oh, Miss Isa goes up. <laughs> go on, Mr. Priya. Don't worry, Miss Isa, you can do number two. Okay. 
where is your factory located? And the embedded question is, can you tell me where, where your factory is located? Mm, but that's been in the example. Try to use other phrase, Mr. Uh, Priya. What, you, how? We already used this in uh, the example, right? So let's yes. try. Oh my God. Well, you just have to change the beginning phrase. Do you know where your factory located? Almost. You missed the is. Do you know where? Do you know where are where are you? Don't change it into R. It still do, is. Oh, yes. Do you know where is your factory located? That's a question, but you need to change it into a statement, this part. Where is your factory located? So you need to make it the is after the subject. The subject is your factory. Do you know? Do you know? Where? Where? The subject? You. This is the subject, right? Your factory? Yes, your factory. And then the verb. Is? Is. Located. Yeah. So if you put it into a question, do you know where your factory is located? Do you know your factory? Do you do know, you know where? Your do you know where? Mr. Priyo? Do you know where your Do you factory know where? <laughs> Do you know Priya, where your factory you... is located? There you go. Do you know where your factory oh. is located? Got it. Thank you, Mr. Priyo. Miss Isa, okay. number two, please. Okay. Um, what is your current project? Mm -mm. Uh, what do you tell me? What your current is project. Almost. The subject is no. this, Miss Isa. Current project is the subject. Current. Sorry, sorry. sorry. The, uh, your current project is the subject. Uh, what do you tell me what your, what your current project? The verb? Yeah. Your what? Verb is, uh, you need to remember that verb is kata kerja, sesuatu yang bersifat aktivitas, kegiatan. So the verb here it is. What is what your current what project is? There you go. What would you tell what me is your, your current, current project? Switch, Miss Isa. Would you tell me? Would you tell me what your is current your, your is current project is your? <laughs> Wait, your current project. It's the whole subject. Project uh, terbarumu. In Indonesian, it's like that, right? What? Project terbarumu. Would you tell me what is your current project? Current pro your current project is. There you go. One more time, Miss Isa. Would you tell me what your current project is? What? Okay. what you tell me what your current project is? There. Thank you, Miss Isa. There um, you go. Okay. Number three, Mr. Bagus or Mr. Agung? I'll try, Miss. Number okay. three, Miss. Where do you where do you put the document? Uh, embedded question. Would you would you tell me 
uh, where you put the document is. Oh, oh. no is, oh. Mr. Bagus. There's was, no is was. in the question. No was in the question. Oh. You don't have to use okay. is or was if it's not in the question. Would you tell me where you are put where we where where you are put the document? There is no R, there is no is. Oh. So you don't have to use R or is. Okay. Would you tell me Would you tell where? Me where What's the subject? You put the subject, you. You, got it. And then the, the document. Got it, that's it. Would you tell me where you put the document? Finish. Oh, okay. One more time. Mr. Okay, Mr. thank you. Mr. Bogus. Uh, would you tell me where you put the document? There, thank you, Mr. Bogus. Okay, Mr. Agung, number four, please. Thank you, Mr. Uh -huh. How long will it take to get the contract ready? And the uh, good question is, can you tell me how long it will take to get the contract ready? There you go. Well done, Mr. Agus. Can you tell me how long it will take to get the contract rate ready? Thank you, Mr. Uh, Agum. The last one, five and six. Uh, Mr. Wahyu. Mr. Wahyu didn't get to participate earlier. So let's try with Ms. Uh, number five, Mr. Wahi. Number five, right, Ms. Tati. Got it. Why do the workers leave early today? don't know why the workers leave early today. There you go. I wonder why the workers leave early today. Remember, when there's do or does, it means that you need to adjust the do, does, and did. You need to adjust the verb. If it's do, lucky you, there is no addition to the verb. It is as it is. I wonder why the workers leave. As simple as that, early today. But if it's does, you need to use leaves with S. If it's did, you need to change leave into verb to left. Okay. The last one, number six, Miss Lisa or Miss Yeni. Okay, I will try for number six. Mm -hmm. Why did she come late to the office? Do you have any idea why she came late to the office? Well done, Miss Lisa. There you go. Because there's did, it means that you need to change the verb. The verb is come. And you need to change it with did. Past tense. Why she came late to the office. Well done, Miss Lisa. Okay. Okay, uh, it's probably a bit tough. I know grammar is always a bit confusing, a bit disturbing. So let's try and play Kahoot for a while. Everybody, please go to kahoot.it okay, and type the game pin, enter the game pin.
thing is modifying his icon. So far, there are more, uh, there are fewer people getting it right. Check this one out. The question is, what is the demographic of the area? So you need to change is until after. If it's still what is, then it's incorrect. Let's check. The yellow one is still what is. It's automatically incorrect. The same with the green one. It's still what is. It's also incorrect. The blue one, it doesn't have the is. So it's also incorrect. That's why the correct one is the red one because we put what the demographic of the area is. Okay? That's the correct answer. Oh, Mr. Agong, Miss Lisa, Miss Idaya, others, let's go. This time, we get most uh, answers correct. The, the easiest way to check whether the option is correct is if it has an if or whether, because this is a yes, no question, okay? Is the new place a dead spot? Red, yellow, and blue don't have the if or whether part, so they are incorrect. As simple as that. Hmm, Isidaya is taking over the leaderboard. So this is so 
um drawing between red blue and yellow and and the correct one is actually yellow this is the deal because this is not a yes no question of course the if if there is an if it's incorrect so red is automatically wrong there's an if there okay the next one we have when is the ordinance because we need to switch the question into a sentence it means that the is cannot be next to the when isnya nggak boleh berada persis di sebelah when karena harus dipisah dia ditaruh di belakang subjek so if you take a look at the blue part it's when is incorrect the green part if you check the sentence it doesn't have is banyak yang ketipu nih Nggak ada isnya. But three people chose the green one. You need to use is still. So the yellow part is correct. I would like to know when the ordinance is applied. Okay. Oh, Miss Lisa and Miss Hidaya got it right. People got it right. Okay. This is also uh, an easy option, actually. Because the question is, why did you choose to live in a satellite city? It means that the verb did and choose need to be in past tense. And past tense of choose is chose with one O. The only option with chose is the blue one. The other is choose, choose, choose. The blue one is the only one with past tense. So could you tell me why you chose to live in a satellite city? people are correct nice one the question is which station should i stop it means that the question word is which and should and then the subject is i the verb stop stop and should should be together stop and should should be together so you put the i before the should and the only option here where the subject is before the verb is the green one. The others is should I? Still the same question. Should I? Should I? Okay, so that's why they are automatically incorrect. The correct one is I should. Okay.
six people, more and more people got it right. Okay. If you pay attention to the previous question, from should I becomes I should. This one too. From can I into I can. Red, blue, and green are still can I. They are incorrect. The correct one is yellow. Could you tell me where I can find the CD in the city? the last question and we got seven people correct exactly this is a yes no question it means that there should be if or whether in the question so red is incorrect it doesn't have if or whether the same with blue no if or whether the yellow one is incorrect because it's still using do you instead of you and then the verb remember when it's do, we don't change the verb at all. Kalau ketemu do, berarti verbnya sama sekali nggak berubah. I wonder if you commute to the office. That's it. I wonder if you commute to the office. Okay. Let's check. We we'll got the first. Lisa, the third one. The album, the second one. Okay, there you go. Oh, I miss getting number five. Nice one. There. Okay. There you go. So I hope the the way we check the the options in Kahoot actually give you the the ability to notify which one is the correct version immediately. So when I say, can I, in the direct question, it should be, I can, in the embedded question, okay? Now for the next part, practice two, okay? Everyone will get a turn, okay? So there are, Two, three, four, five, and six. It means that there are five question, uh, five things, but it can be an embedded question within a sentence or an embedded question within a question. So, for example, number one is I don't know where they manufacture the product. You can also ask a question: Do you know where they manufacture the product? Now for number two, three, four, five, six, it means that one number will have two people. One person is making a question within a question. Another person is making a question within a sentence. Um, number two, let's go with the first group. Uh, I'm just going with the group again. The first group, Mr. Wahyu. And, oh, okay, 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 got it. The first group is three people. So number one is Miss, um, Mr. Wahyu. Because Miss Lisa is the only one in the top three, I'm going to ask Miss Lisa to do number two. Mr. Wahyu and Miss Yeni, number three. And then number four is Mr. Agung and Mr. Bagus. Number five is Miss Aya Iza and Mr. Priya. Number six is Miss Puput and Miss Hidayah. Okay. Remember, one person is a sentence, uh, sorry, a question within a sentence. The other person is used doing a question within a question. Miss Lisa is the only one who can choose 
whether to do, or maybe you can do both, Miss Lisa. Remember, these are the answers or the response to the question. You can use the private chat with your teammate to work it out. Ms. Lisa, are you ready? Try number two. So sorry, Miss Lisa. Hello, Miss. Uh, okay, gone. Yeah, the first question, the first statement is: I wonder if your company have five friends, branches, branches, and the branches. And then the the question is: Can you tell me how many the branches your company have? Almost. Can you tell me how many branches your company? How many your company have? Your company has. Has. Oh, oh got it. I wonder how many branches your company has. Company has. Got it. There you go. Thank you, Miss Lisa. I wonder how many branches your company has. Number three. Mr. Wahyu and Miss Yeni, are you ready? I, may I try? Okay, go ahead. Try first. Are you the sentence or I, the a statement or the question? The statement. Statement, go ahead. I need to find out. I need to find out the when the new product will be launched. I need to find out when, almost Mr. Wahyu, you need to switch the wheel. Oh, I need to find out the new product. I need to find out when will the new products be launched. I need to find out where, oh, where? I need to find when. out when the new product will, one more time, please. I need to find out when the new product will be launched. Okay, there you go. I need to find out when the new product will be launched. It will be launched next week. Thank you, Mr. Wahyu. Miss Yeni, the question within a question. Do you, do you have no know, know when the new product will be launched? There you go. Do you know when the new product will be launched? Okay. This is easier because you already have the answer there. So the new product will be launched next week. Thank you, Miss Yeni. Number four, we go to... Uh, number four was Miss Iza and Mr. Wahyu, right? Uh, Mr. Priyo, sorry. Yes. Okay. I don't know when the raw material would arrive tomorrow. Wait, is it number four or number five, Mr. Priya? Oh, number four, four is I'll me. <laughs> number four is me. With oh, Mr. number four Ago. is Mr. Bagus. Okay, number four is Mr. Bagus and Mr. Ago. Go ahead then, Mr. Bagus, okay, number four. I'll try make a statement with the the answer in the car plan is in the industrial complex. Uh, I wonder. I wonder. Oh, wait.
I wonder if the car plan in the industrial complex. But number four is not a yes no question, Mr. Bagus. Oh. So you don't need to use is. I don't need. Oh, sorry. I you don't need to use is. if if if. So sorry, I said. Oh, I wonder the car plan is in the industrial complex. I wonder. The car plan in industrial complex. Because it's, yours it's, is. because it's not a yes no question. It means that you need to use a question word. It can be when, where, why, who. Oh, why? I wonder. This is a place. Uh, the answer is a place. So I wonder if why the you cannot use why car plan. The answer is oh, a place. Where, 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 where car Got plan it. in industrial complex. Mm. Where One more time, Mr. Valdez. I wonder. I wonder if where the car plan in industrial industrial complex. Hmm. Industrial complex is the answer. Don't put it in the question. Oh. I wonder. I wonder. Where? Where the car plan is. is. That's it. I wonder where the car plant is. That's it. The car plant is in the industrial complex. That's the answer. Thank you, okay. Mr. Bagus. Thank you. Mr. Agu? Um, would you tell me where the car plant is? Could you tell me where the car plant is? Thank you, Mr. Agung. Well done. Now we go to Mr. Prio and Ms. Isa for real. Do you know the route of the Miss Isa, so sorry, you need to speak louder. Do you know when the raw material will arrive? Okay, there you go. Do you know when the raw material will arrive? Yeah. Mr. Priya? Sub 1, yes. Pardon? Still sub 1. It is yes. when? Because it's the answer is tomorrow. A uh, time. Oh. Mm -mm. I don't know when the raw material. The next word is tomorrow, so we must to change into verb two or still in the verb one. The answer is tomorrow. So you don't put tomorrow in the question. So I don't know where the raw material, the verb, will arrive. That's it. Will arrive. Mm -mm. I don't know where okay. the raw material will arrive. One more time, Mr. Priya. I don't know when the low mater raw material will arrive. That's it. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. I don't know where they were. Thank you, Mr. Priya and Miss Iza. The last one, Miss Hidaya and Miss Puput. Uh, what time did the conference start? Hmm. But that's a direct question. You need to make an embedded question. Can you tell me what time the conference start? Almost. Can started. you tell me? Ah, go. Miss Puppet. Started. You... Mm -mm. One more time. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what time the conference start? Got it. Can you tell me what time the conference started? There. Thank you. Miss Idaya? Uh, do you have any idea when the conference started? 
Got it. Do you have any idea when the conference started? Um, uh, it's wait. Miss Puput was also a question. Miss Idaya, you need to do the sentence. Uh, question oh. within the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to find. I need to find out. Uh, when the conference started. Got it. I need to find out when the conference started. There you go. It's a bit because um you are not used to using it in real life perhaps that's why this is a bit confusing but actually this is the correct grammar version of the embedded question okay so whenever you ask somebody uh excuse me can you tell me what your name is it should be automatically automatically like that instead of excuse me what is your name uh can you tell me what is your name that's incorrect okay Excuse me, can you tell me what your name is? Could you tell me where you live? Instead of, could you tell me where do you live? That's incorrect. Could you tell me where you live? The correct version is to put the question, uh, sorry, the verb after the subject in the embedded question. Why do we use this embedded question when we can use direct questions? it is more polite. Just like in Indonesian, instead of asking, namamu siapa? Boleh tahu uh, nama anda siapa? So, could I know what your name is? It is more polite. There you go. Uh, do you have any questions about this subject, the grammar part that we learned today? Miss Puput, Miss Wati is not here today. Is she fine? She is sick. Ah, no wonder. That's why I was like, uh, if she is there, she will definitely be next to you. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, questions? Anyone? May I ask? Yes, go ahead, Mr. Ragun. Uh... When, how to say, when we use the question written statement or question in when we need to ask the the right, how is it? When we use okay, the, okay. maksudnya kap, kapan kira-kira kita harus pakai yang statement ataupun yang question. Hmm. Tergantung keinginan kita untuk uh, kelayakan kepada yang kita tanyakan. Misalnya, saya mau tanya ke Mr. Agung, usianya berapa? Itu kan sebenarnya pertanyaan yang sangat tabu kalau dalam bahasa Inggris untuk ditanyakan. ya. Tapi kalau kita bikin pertanyaan dalam pertanyaan, biasanya bisa lebih sopan. Sedangkan kalau kita tanyakan pertanyaan dalam kalimat, Jatuhnya sedikit kurang sopan. Misalnya saya tanyakan ke Mr. Agung. Uh, please tell me how old you are. Kayaknya kan seperti memerintah ya. Tolong kasih tahu saya berapa usia Anda. Tapi kalau saya tanya, would you mind telling me how old you are? Bolehkah Anda memberitahu saya berapa usia Anda? Akan terdengar jauh lebih sopan. Jadi tergantung kepada siapa kita bicara dan kelayakan seperti apa yang kita inginkan untuk pertanyaan kita. Karena so when we... garis besar pertanyaan bisa dibuat lebih sopan daripada statement. So when we are the higher position so we can use the statement something like that. Yes. Mr. Agung. Misalnya uh, kita seorang manajer HRD, terus ada pelamar baru, kita bisa saja menanyakan, uh, mem meminta dia mengatakan umur dengan, please tell me how old you are. Okay. Instead of, would you tell me how old you are? Please tell me how old you are. Or, please tell me what you want to be five years from now. Itu sering banget kita dengar kalau baru ngelamar kerja. Uh, silakan katakan apa yang uh, Anda inginkan atau anda 
impikan lima tahun dari sekarang seperti itu kan biasanya tanpa basa-basi pertanyaan. Oh, thank you, Miss. Okay, I hope that answers the question, Mr. Agung. Another question, maybe? Ada lagi yang mau ditanyakan? Kalau memang perlu pakai bahasa Indonesia untuk pemahaman lebih, it's fine. Nobody? Okay. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to end this session. Thank you so much for joining me today in our session. I hope uh, you will practice this kind of embedded question more to make yourself a more polite English speaker. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Goodbye, you, everyone. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.